Hi there again. I'm glad we you are doing the Barcola training at Udemy. Uh, this is the beginning of our journey, about uh, the beginning of our training, and I'm very glad you're here. Uh, this is chapter one, uh, backup concepts. But first of all, I will introduce and talk a little bit of, uh, about myself. My name is Eitor Faria, I'm from Brazil, and I have plenty of uh, more than 10 years of experience with Linux systems and Bacula. I'm a LPI3 certified professional. I have a I2 foundation certification too. And uh, I have implanted Bacula in several big clients here in Brazil, clients uh, that back up over than 700 terabytes with Bacula. Uh, I've worked for uh, international companies too, like Neocode Software, uh, which is from Canada. And this is it. I hope you enjoy it. This is my website, bacula.com.br, which uh, has several of uh, documentations and, and, and tutorials about Bacula. The native language is Portuguese, but you can have machine translation translation here clicking in the English flag. Uh, in the about of bacula.com.br you have all my contacts, email, gtalk, skype, facebook. You are very welcome to be contacting me during the training and uh, I will be glad to answer any questions that you have about the training. Okay, uh, I have also several mailing lists that I created for some countries which you can be registering to in order to, we, we to exchange Bacula experience, okay? Uh, chapter 1, Backup Basic Concepts First of all, what is backup? Backup is a cop, it's a data redundancy with the specific restoring purpose in case of losing the original. This is what differ backup from any other copies uh, that you may do with your data. Backup is not mirror, it's not uh, synchronization copy, it's not replication. It's a copy with the specific restoring purpose in case of losing of the original. So you make backup with the uh, hoping that you will, you will not be needing to restore the data. Okay. It's a cost risk relation. Some students of mine, they ask me, Eito, uh, what if I do uh, two versions of the same backup in different places? I told them, yes, yeah, it's very possible. Bacula can do that. It's very trivial for Bacula. Technically, it's very possible, but it worth the cost to, to have two, three versions of the same backup in different places. Sometimes it, it's good. Sometimes it, the cost uh, doesn't compensate it. So it's a thing, it's a thing you have to, to think before planning your backup. An efficient backup system minimizes the impact of data loss, providing ways to restore the files and servers in a tolerable, tolerable period of disruption and with reasonable data outage. So you, you, you must have a backup system that allows you to restore your service, restore your data in the minimal uh, affordable time to your business okay so this is the prince the main thing to to consider when doing the on, on, when planning and doing backups backups may also be influenced by the data nature business needs and available infrastructure uh, the backup time frame 
which is the time available for jobs duration, backup retention times, backup peri periodicity, and available storage device cap capacity must be considered when planning the, the backup system. You have to, to know all these variables in order to, to have a, a, a good backup. The most used storage device for backup are optical media, but optical media never was uh, mainstream for backup. The most used are really magnetic tapes and hard disks. Since hard disks uh, in the last years uh, were getting better uh, reliability and better uh, data protection, uh, they, and uh, it's getting cheaper, much companies are preferring, are starting to do uh, backups in hard disks. But for large amounts of backup, magnetic tapes, it is still the, the most used uh, storage device for backup. It has a lower cost for per gigabyte. Backup topology. Uh, uh, many years ago, it was very common to have, uh, when you buy a server machine, it comes with a magnetic tape drive. So you can have the backup of the machine made in the same machine. This method, uh, it is very expensive because you have to manage all the tapes, all the tape chains from all the drives. You would have to manage uh, probably different backup tools and backup software. So it's very hard to manage this kind of backup. So the modern backup tools, they provide uh, beyond the decentralized option, they provide a centralized option. When you have a central backup server, that will be managing the backup of several other machines. Okay, and you can store this backup in one or more storages. So it's much easier to manage this kind of backup because you have only have one backup software, you only have one uh, administration console, so it's, uh, it's, it's much easier to manage this and much cheaper to manage this kind of topology, backup of the backup service. And nowadays, we are also facing the, the need of uh, cloud backup, which can also be provided by Bacula. Bacula has several uh, features that uh, can be used to be cloud backup, which uh, I, I consider the backup, the transmission of data for backup over internet. So you can use Bacula and also store uh, some data in uh, external internet storage like Amazon S3, uh, you can have backlog network components uh, having cryptographic uh, they encrypted the data over the internet. So it's very possible to use backlog for cloud backup also. Uh, backups are usually performed at night because you have less users of your services, you have a uh, reduced amount of open files, despite the fact that the Bacula can do uh, open files backup uh, in uh, the most common operational system, Linux, Windows, it's better to backup closed files since the user is not working on it. Uh, backups are performed at night to avoid network overhead in service and uh, by the traffic. And uh, when you do it at night, backup reflects the end of the work day. So it's the, uh, the, the work done by the users is already done 
by now. And this is why, and there's a very cool thing about Bacula. Bacula name is the mix of backup with Dracula, which comes at night and sucks the essence of the computers, the blood of the blood of the computers, which is the data. And this is it, folk. Hope you enjoyed the the first class. Hope. You contact me at my website, bacula.com.br, and hope you enjoy it. This is the, the chapter one, and we'll be going to the next theoretical chapter. See you later.